He was the game changer, revolutionising English football both on and off the field. But today, amid growing fan frustration, the game was finally up for Arsene Wenger. It does mean we need to be bold in the appointment and get the person we believe is the right person. Hi guys, welcome to the final episode of Wenger Out Fry In. And it's the, the moment that you've all been waiting for. Who finished in that first place? So just uh, before we do that, a quick recap of who finished where in the league. So in bottom place was Allegri, 19th place was Joachim Lowe, 18th place was Sarri, 17th place was Rogers, 16th place was Daesh, 15th place was Luis Enrique, he only managed to win one trophy, 14th was Dennis Bergkamp, uh, Unai Emery, the now current manager of Arsenal, he finished in 13th, uh, he did win two trophies, but it weren't enough. Um, I believe that was only the, the Community Shield and the League Cup. Eddie Howe finished in 12th. Thierry Henry finished in 11th. And in 10th place was Steve Bold. And then if we go into the top 10, you've got 9th place is Nagelsmann. 8th place is Potter, who's been linked with... Was it... Not West Brom. It was someone else. Sunderland, maybe, that he's been linked with. But it would definitely be a good appointment for whoever whoever hires him. Uh, Simeone finished in 7th place Jardim finished in 6th and then the man that was linked for most of the time and uh, I believe was quite close to joining Mikel Arteta he finished in 5th place he won 2 trophies uh, Tedesco finished in 4th place and then we saw Vieira in 3rd Ancelotti in 2nd and now in 1st place drum roll. Me. I know some of you probably guessed that it would be me at the top, but obviously, before I decided to make this, I had a game as Arsenal, and I absolutely loved this save. Um, you'll see how I've done in a minute, and going forward as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simulate and see how I get on as Arsenal manager. I won't have any input into it. I'll just literally simulate the seasons. I'll go on holiday, and... Um, we will see how well Daniel Fry actually performs as a manager. And that will be whether we stay at Arsenal or move somewhere else or get sacked or whatever. We will follow my career and see on a season-by-season -season basis what I am doing. And uh, I think that would be interesting. If you guys agree, then please leave some comments. If you want to see anything, then please, again, leave some comments. And, um, yeah, let's go and see how we've done. So, obviously, I'm the manager... We'll go back to my first season. So, so we we'll look at my my transfers in the first season as Arsenal manager. So, I believe in one of my Norwich saves. Uh, I mentioned that. Um, actually, it might not have been in my Norwich saves. It might have been one of the Woffy saves. But I mentioned that I signed David Calabria from AC Milan on loan. Um, as you can see there, he didn't do. An amazing job, eight appearances. He did have a good rating of 7.23, but it didn't really play too much. Um, mostly for the name, plus the fact that he's a, a good youth prospect. I had to sign Dale Fry. He has got pretty good stats. He's on loan at Leeds at the moment. But if you look at his career stats, now he's not played a single game for me yet. But when he comes back, I'm sure he will. I bought Mauro Cardi, obviously the guy that scored two goals in the final to help me win the Football Manager World Esports competition. This is the reason why I signed him, to be honest. Look at these stats. Fantastic. And then we'll look at his history as well. 16 goals in 29 games in his first season. Only an average rating of 6.98, but he did play well. But this season, 7.51. He scored nine goals in 14 games. So that was that signing there. And then DJ Coletta Carr. Again... A young player, he's from Croatia. He's on loan at Everton at the moment. I don't know if he's... No, he's not played for me yet. I only signed him for five and a half million. But he went to Stoke last year, played quite well in a few games. Uh, getting more games now at Everton. Um, but he's not... Um, he's not got as good an average rating, but obviously he's, he's developing. So they were my players in. What about my players out? I only received 5.5 million. I let out a lot of players on loan. Debushi was the only player I let go. 5.5 million. 
not really needed at Arsenal. He has got pretty good stats, to be fair, but I, I didn't need him. Did not need him at all, so I've let him go. Like I said, lots of players out on loan. Should we have a look at who I've signed this? No. I'll do this, and then I can do that for another video. So, that's the transfer history. What tactics do I use? Same as I do in the Norwich save. You've got 4 2 3 1 formation. I do have a number of uh, backup systems, but the majority of the time I use this one. And uh, don't look at the lineup because I believe I might have had a cup game in the last one. I've been playing a few of the younger players. But we'll have a look at my squad. There's no way that I can look at what my squad looked like last season. It's only my current squad. So I'm going to quickly go through the signings I've made uh, and the transfers that I've done because obviously there'll be a lot of changes in my team that wouldn't have been there last season. So I've spent £189 million this season, something that Arsenal probably need to do. Uh, I bought Kasper Dolberg in for £15 million, Donnarumma for 47. million, needed a good young goalkeeper, uh, Rafael Varane, £72 million I spent on him. It was a risk because he's very injury prone, um, but he's, he's done well so far. An average rating of 7.35. He's, he's doing well for me. And I've got Aaron as a backup left back. He's supposed to be a good young player, 21. He's got pretty good stats, uh, but he's doing well for me. A 7.53 rating so far. I've got Leon Goretzka on a free transfer. He's been really good. Uh, 7.5. Solid, solid midfielder. And then Christian Pulisic from Dortmund. Can play on the left or the right or in the centre. Very good player. And then I bought this bloke from Millwall, 700,000, Tim Dykstra. Supposed to be a good one for the future. He's got good determination, so he's, he's looking to work hard. But he's, he's playing well in the competitions. If you have a look at his stats for me so far, you can't see it there. But um, in Europe, he got a rating of 8.5. In the Cups, he's played three games, got an average rating of 8.17. So uh, And he's got two assists in four games for the first team. So... He, he's doing very well. And then the players that I let go, some controversy here, potentially. So, Tuba Akpon has gone to, to Cardiff for 1.4 million. I sold Takuma Asano for 7.5 million. Obviously, he doesn't really play. So, I'll just let him go. El Nini to Paris Saint Germain, 35 million. Don't ask me how I managed to get that. But 35 million for Mohamed El Nini. Ospina joins Napoli for 8.5. Obviously, that was so I could get in. Um, Donnarumma, Nacho Monreal to Zenit for 11.5 million, Carl Jenkinson to West Brom for 2.9. I wanted to keep Alexis Sanchez, but he was a greedy mofo, just like in real life, and he ended up joining Real Madrid on a free transfer. How has he done for them? Seven goals in 14 games. Not bad rating, he was better for me. Eight goals, nine assists, five man of match awards in 16 games. But yeah, I, don't, I can't remember now if I just ended up dropping him or he was injured quite a bit. I only played 16 games. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was just in the league. He played more in the Cups. But I think that was more towards the end. Um, Theo Walcott, 24.5 million to West Ham. Danny Welbeck, 21 million from Man City. And then Giroud went to Man City as well for 32 million. So I believe I've done really well in the transfer market. Look at that, I've received 144 million. So overall, I only spent 45. So a good good outlay there. Uh, we've seen the tactics already. Let's see how I've done in the competitions. So I started off, first game in charge, a 0 0 draw with Chelsea, but I won the game on penalties. Um, it's not going to let me have a look at the results, unfortunately, for that one. So let's go to the Carabao Cup. And unfortunately there, I got a disappointing defeat in the semi-final to Brighton. I beat Burton, Bournemouth, Everton on my way. Scored three goals in all of them games. But away from home, I just couldn't score. I drew 0-0 at the American Express Community Stadium. And then at home, I drew 2-2. I took the lead through Sandy Cazorla. Izzy Brown with the equaliser. Then it went into extra time. Izzy Brown scored early again. Uh, Sanchez got one back. 
right on half time, but we couldn't get another one. We ended up going out on away goals. So, a disappointing way to go out. Um, but semi final, so we can't be too downhearted. And as you can see, the title holders are Brighton, so they ended up going on to win the Carabao Cup. So, we lost to the losers. Let's have a look at the FA Cup. And as you can see here, we've gone on all the way to the FA Cup final and we've won. We've only conceded three goals in the six games. Um, one game went into extra time. All the others were settled in normal time. We beat Newcastle, Brentford. We beat Man U 2-0 at home. Sanchez and Icardi were the goals there. We beat Liverpool 4-2. Lacazette, Sanchez, Cazula, Giroud. And then we beat Bournemouth 3-0 in the final. Wobi, Lacazette and Costioni. Finishing off in the 92nd minute there. So our first, or sorry, our second trophy comes in the form of the FA Cup. So can I win any more? Let's have a look. And as you can see, we've now won our third trophy. We've won the Europa Cup final. We beat in the group stages. We won every game in the group. We had Bates, Carabag, and Zoya. We beat all of them. Uh, we drew disappointingly away at Fenerbahce 0-0 in the first leg. Uh, but in the second leg at home, we won 5 0. Giroud, Hattrick, Lacazette, and Walcott getting goals as well. Uh, we then beat Olympic Marseille 6 0 on aggregate. Sanchez, Icardi, Joe Willock with a goal there. And um, we beat Everton 7 1 on aggregate. Again, a couple of youth players. Emil Smith Rowe getting a goal. Coughlin, Welbeck, Giroud, Cossioni. And then we drew 0 0 with Spurs at home. Bellerin getting sent off in the 66th minute. And then it went to Wembley. Difficult, difficult game. But we managed to win on away goals. We drew 4-4 at Wembley. It was... Let's have a breakdown of this. So, Harry Kane gave them the lead. Then Sanchez equalised. A minute later, Aurea gave them the, the lead. Then Sanchez got another goal. Then Oliver Drew made it 3-2. Then Dyer made it 3-3. Then Danny Rose scored no goal and made it 4-3. And then in the 93rd minute, Wanyama got one goal back to make it a very tense ending. But we held on to get through to the final where we faced Galatasaray. And despite Gomez scoring a goal against us, Joe Willock and two goals for Lacazette gave us a 3-1 win and our third trophy of the season. And I just want to quickly have a look at this player. I want to show you this guy. I've signed him on my Norwich save on loan. But this guy has been outstanding for me. As you can see, obviously his performance and the, the training's helping, he's improving. Only rated as a two and a half star, a potential of a three and a half star, but he's valued at 27 and a half million now, only 19 years old. And then we'll have a look at last season, and uh, that's where you see an average rating of 7.84 in the league. He scored four goals, set up five. Um, overall, though, if you don't include the non-competitive games, he's scored 12 goals in 29 games, set up 11 goals, got five man and match awards, and an average rating of 7.73. For his first season, that is very good. And then if we look at this season so far, 24 games, 12 goals, 18 assists, an average rating of 8.02. The fans have a great affinity towards this player. And the, the player's recent performances have been nothing short of sensational. He's rated on the right wing as my fifth best player. But he just keeps getting better and better. So that's the Europa League. I just wanted to quickly show you Joe Willock because I'm in love with him at the moment. But let's have a look how I've done in the league. So if you look at this, it's very surprising. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven defeats. And two draws in the first half of the season. I lost to Bournemouth, Palace, Watford, Newcastle, Tottenham, Chelsea, Brighton. And after that you'd think, man, there's no chance this guy is going to win the league. But then if you look at the second half of the season, despite another two defeats, Spurs and Stoke, we only drew one more game. I think that was three draws in total in the league. And let's have a look at the league table. So yeah, this is the league table. We won 26 games. We only drew three. And despite nine defeats, we managed to win the league. We scored 81 goals. That's 32 goals more than Spurs, who finished in second. We conceded 36. We didn't have the best defence. 
Uh, but 81 points. We won the league by seven points. Spurs, Man City, Man U made up the top four. Chelsea came fifth. And Stoke, Liverpool, Newcastle, Bournemouth and Everton finished top ten. West Brom, Burnley and Huddersfield got relegated. Um, I'll quickly have a look at my home record. Second best in the league. Uh, lost two, drew two, one fifteen. One point behind Man U in the home record. Look at the away record. And despite them seven defeats, it's my, my wins on the road that helped me get the title. Five points more than anyone else away from home. So, yeah, that's the league table. I've won that. that oh, I've won the quadruple in my first season in charge as Arsenal. I'm going to quickly go into what I've done so far. So, looking at the league table currently, you can see that in the first 18 games of the season, I've won 17 games and I've drawn one. Man, you're close behind. They're six points behind me. They've only drawn one and lost one. They've won 15 of their 17 games. Um, but yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty convincing season. We look at the player stats. Um, and actually, I've scored the most goals. I've got the best average possession with 58. Conceded the least. I've only conceded five goals so far this season. Most clean sheets, 13. I've made the most fouls and the most passes as well. And looking at the player stats... So you've got the most assists so far, Joe Willock. He's also second in the top goal scorers chart for goals scored. Lacazette and Akali are behind him. And Donnarumma is at the top with the least goals conceded. Despite Peter Cech having a good season season four, Donnarumma has come in. He has been solid. 11 clean sheets, conceded 9 in 19 games. Good stats. Also helped me win the FM Rec final. And yeah, that is that is my first season in charge as Arsenal manager. Um, let's see if I can before I go, I can just point out any potential good players as well. So Maitland Niles is not a bad player. He's played a few games for me this season. Youth player, two goals, four assists, seven point five one average rating. He's doing well. And then who else we got? Zelalem. So I've tried to blood in quite a lot of young players. Again, he's got some good ratings. His stats aren't that fantastic. So FM Tree Quartesta, you should not have got rid of him. And Emil Smith Rowe, he's a he's a good player. Yeah, he scored one goal, so one assist, uh, got one assist in five appearances, seven point two rating there. Doing well for my under twenty threes, and. Uh, this is another great player, Follerin Balogun. Again, not fantastic stats, but he's working hard and training, despite his work rate and determination not being fantastic. Um, but he scored three goals in three appearances for me, set up two goals. He's got an average rating of 8.13 so far this season. Last season, he scored three in 11 with a rating of 6.9, so he's getting better. But there are some of the, the young players that I've got there. I don't think I've signed anybody else. Reese Nelson's obviously a very good player, but he's, uh, he's not in my first team at the moment. Trey Cole, very good. He's scored a few goals. Eddie Nketiah, again, very good player. He's not really doing it out on loan at the moment. Though. He's on loan at Blackburn and he's he's having a poor season, to be fair. Jack Wilshire in my reserves, unhappy. I think he's just come back from injury, to be fair, so that's why he's there. But yeah, th that is my Arsenal team. And uh, I've won the quadruple in my first season. Hopefully I can repeat that feat and um, win some more trophies this season. It looks like I'm on the road to that anyway um, but yeah like I say I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I've got, I've got a few videos waffy videos I want to do with other managers that weren't in the top 20 um, other players that or managers that haven't really been linked and some that have but I just want to test them out and I'm also going to do like I said the simulation of me as manager and see where my career takes me in football manager just with my stats. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. 
thank you for those that have watched from the start all the way to the end of this series. And um, I hope you enjoy the other videos coming out. If you want to keep watching, please check out my On The Ball City videos. I'm getting really into them at the moment. I've just finished my first season. One promotion to the Premier League. And um, yeah, if you like the video, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I really do hope I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.